What's going on, Golf Addicts? DB here to do a live round one best ball draft for the U.S. Open at Pinehurst. Round one only. Going to do the Mayo, show you what's up, show you how to do it. It's a ton of fun to do the draft. Uh, I'm also going to show you a few tips that you need to know before you get in there and do it. Let's first look and see what I'm talking about. If you go here into the lobby, you go to drafts, you go to lobby, you go to PGA, make sure you click the Pat Mayo Classic $20 entry, 500 entrance. You're going to get $1,000 for first place. This is about scoring, baby. Scoring, 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 which is going to be hard to do at Pinehurst. Uh, but you see four points for birdies, one point for a par. You only lose a, a point, basically, for bogeys. You only lose three points for doubles. You got to get some scores in there as you can. Now, let me tell you something. There's a few key things you got to do, all right, before you get locked in here for this draft. Let me show you what that is. Um, if you go to, let me share my screen. If you go to, uh, actually, let me go back to this. I'll show you this. Sorry. I'm all over the place. If you go to rankings, you got to go to rankings, then go to PGA. Then make sure you have this slate will be selected. Rank your golfers and hit the save button. That is crucial. Rank your golfers and hit the save button. Okay. So you move over your guys. You can rearrange them. You can change their order here. Um, just grab them. You just move them over from here. Then make sure you hit the save. Okay. That's crucial. You got to do that before you enter any draft. The reason is because. You need to have your ranking sorted out. I'm going to go ahead and open up the lobby. I'll show you where I'm at um, so you can see we're about to start drafting here. We're waiting on one more person. All right, so this is the lobby. I'm, I'm in, a, I'm in a, uh, a game ready to go or in a draft, excuse me. Let me maximize the screen here. All right, so I'm in a draft waiting on one person. The order will be determined after the draft gets started. But I've moved over my ranked players here. Now, let me tell you how I'm ranking this for round one. I'm looking at AM guys, okay? AM guys. Guys going off in the first wave. Pinehurst is already playing firm and fast. I want it to be optimal conditions for my guys to score tomorrow. I think the AM, AM guys are going to be the best for that. So I'm willing to skip big names, skip names that everybody likes who are in the PM in exchange for guys who are in the AM. You're going to see that reflected in my ranking. So what you do here is when you first get into a lobby, none of this will be filled. Your queue will not be filled. But if you sort by rank, my rank, it's going to pull over your rankings that you had that, that you did just a minute ago that I showed you. And then you can just star those players in order, and it will bring them over. Now, I have only ranked 33 guys, but I will show you a little, a little thing I did. Um, if you look at my ranking, you're going to see Brandon Robinson Thompson. I don't know who the crap that guy is. But I put him in there because he's got a long name, and that is my break point. So everybody above Brandon Robinson are AM. Everybody below are PM that I really like. So if maybe I want to take Xander, maybe I want to take Rory, maybe I want to take Bryson, down the, ro down the road in, in later rounds, maybe I want to take a Decky, Sepp, or Norin. But everybody below Brandon Thompson now in my queue I know is a PM guy. So th this is important because th this clock goes quickly when you're drafting. The 30 seconds or whatever it is goes very quick when you're drafting, okay? You're only drafting six guys. So, you know, you don't have to have more than 33, 30 guys ranked. It, it, a lot of these guys are not going to get picked. But everybody above Brandon Robinson Thompson is going off in the AM. Now, I have loosely ranked these players, very loosely. Um just so I have some sort of an idea. Do I do I really want Ludwig over Brooks? I don't know. We'll figure that out when I get there. Depends on where I'm at. But uh, you know, do I really want Finau over Ben on? I don't know. Like we'll figure that out in the moment. And some of it depends on how much exposure, how many drafts I'm doing. But you need to get in this contest. It's a great contest. Uh, I think it's rake free. Actually, I haven't done the math, but I think I think Mayo says it's rake free. You need to do it. You need to give it a shot. So then I've got my queue over here that's in somewhat of an order. Okay, I can see the ADP and the projection po projected points. ADP matters. So then when I come over here, I sort by ADP. I want this side sorted by ADP and this side sorted by my loose rankings. So that then I kind of know, you know, do I need to, you know, if I if I really want, if I really want Sam Burns, his ADP is 24.8. There's seven guys before him. 
you know, I, I may feel like I can wait and take a different player and, and I'll get him coming back around. Yeah, that's usually the hope. Um, so it's that's how I like to do it. I like to have the ADP sorted over here, my Q, my ranking sorted over here so that I can be ready to go. Now we need this one other person to rock and roll. This is this is this is what we need. Okay. But these are the keys. Uh, I'll take that down for a second. Uh, these are the keys to drafting well on uh, on underdog best ball drafts. Highly recommend you doing that before you start drafting. Okay, be prepared. And like I said, this is only round one. So I think there is an advantage. There's You're going to see a scoring advantage to AM guys. Now, there are some really good players playing in the PM that are going to have good rounds. But I'll take my chances with the AM guys for sure. Not that there's any wind advantage or rain advantage. It's merely that the golf course is only going to get firmer and faster. These greens are only going to get firmer and faster and more beat up as the day progresses for both Thursday and Friday. It's 156 golfers in the field. It's a big field. A lot of people walking around these greens, chipping around these greens. So I think it matters at Pinehurst. So for round-by-round round best ball draft, that's what I'm doing. If you've not already signed up for Underdog, highly, highly encourage you to do so. Please consider doing it. This is where the Pick'em game is available if you're watching here on YouTube. It's available in these yellow states. I believe the best ball drafts are available in even more states than that. I think Michigan just got legalized. Um, so, you know, get in there and get involved. You can scan the QR code if you're watching here on YouTube. And uh, it takes you straight to the Tour Junkies link. Or click the link in the description of the YouTube video or podcast. Uh, it would help us out. If you've not signed up for Underdog before and you want to get involved, use our link. It does make us look good. It helps us. Underdog's been a good partner to us. They're a great company. They're very creative in what they're doing. They're investing in the golf space. And if you click that link, you're going to get kind of a special pick that is an almost free square. And you're going to get up to $250 in bonus cash, depending on your deposit amount. So you can use that for best ball drafts. You can use it for pick them, all kind of stuff. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. So while, while we're waiting... Let's uh, let's just look at let's while we're waiting on this thing to fill. I still need one more person to fill this thing. Let me uh, let me show you some pick 'em stuff. Let me show you. Uh, let's show you how pick 'em works. All right. So I bring this up. All right. So if you're new to if you're new to underdog pick 'em, you got all your different sports up here. We're gonna go to PGA. You're just putting together a card, right? Um, let me scale this down just a bit. That way you can see a little more. There we go. All right. So you're just putting together a card. So for example, um, I, let's let's look at Scotty. If, if I want to expand this, I can take Scotty round one leaderboard uh, better than better than five and a half. So top five on the leaderboard, higher lower on strokes and bogeys and greens and reg and fairways and birdies are better. Whatever point. 0.9x if you take the lower. Uh, I, th I, I think four birdies is going to be tough to come by. At minimum, we probably get a push there on the on the number. I doubt Scotty gets the five birdies or better uh, coming out of the PM wave. Yes, even Scotty. So, you know, you can put together uh, a bunch of different guys here. Um, I think Cantlay getting to – Cantlay just sucks. Um, anyway, let's just – let's let's do a clean slate here. Let's do Scotty and, you know, let's just say – Let's just say you're um let's just say you really want to pull for old T Gray, right? You're just feeling T Gray. You could go higher on two and a half birdies or better. Now, when you have a two play, uh, when you have just two plays, you can only do a standard and it's gonna give you how much you you can make down here, and you could do hundred bucks to pay two eighty six. Or if I added a third play, like let's just say I want to go Xander um higher than green ten and a half greens in regulation. Now I could do a standard play where I got to get all three right, or I could do a flex play where if I get three right, I get a little bit less. If I get two right, I still, I basically break even. Um, so you got a bunch of different calculations. You can mix sports. If you want to go over here to WNBA and whoever, uh, you know, I don't know anybody but Caitlin Clark, but uh, whoever Jackie Young, yeah, you want to add her Jackie in there, getting in there, doing some rebounding. You can mix it up. You you see how it works. It's pretty uh it's pretty self explanatory. But the pick'em is a lot of fun. All right, let's uh let's get back into the lobby for the best ball draft and add it to the stage. Here we go. 
Um, God. What am I going to do? Scotty is... Wait a minute. Where? Yeah, Scotty's a PM guy. Even though I have him ranked number one, he's a PM guy. But do I go an AM darling like Morikawa, like Brooks? You know what? This is going to shock some people. Or do I go Ludwig? I'm on the clock. 30 seconds. Here we go. I think I am going to go with... I need birdies. I need birdies. I think I'm going to go Brooks and shock everybody. Bang. This is what I'm talking about. Got to get weird. Got to get weird. I'm, I'm believing in the AM. I'm believing in the AM. Here we go. So... Yeah, the the other thing is like in the later rounds, I definitely think it it makes some sense to pick somebody who may not be drafted. Like for example, I really like Seamus Power this week. Um, he's going basically undrafted. I, I don't think we get too cute, but you know, I, I do like guys like that. Moronk's a stud. Um, so anyway, guys that won't get drafted at all. That if they pop and they have a great a great day you're really skyrocketing up the Mayo Classic leaderboard. The, the Discord is going crazy that they, they can't believe I didn't take Scotty. Um, <laughs> all right, Ludwig Bryson goes off. It's about to be back around to me. Oh, so I got my ADP sorted over here. I've got my starred players. Mm, 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 mm. Um, DT's up. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Who do I want? I got Decky as a PM guy. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's down below the. See, remember this? Is what I need to remember. He's down below Brandon Robinson Thompson. Um, I got, I'm going to stay with my AM my AM thought process here. So Justin Thomas and Fitzpatrick would be the next AM guys available. I'm not as big on Fitz. I don't know if I trust Fitzpatrick. Well, I mean, or, or JT for that matter. I could wait and get Sahith later. Um, Finau's coming around. I kind of trust Finau, honestly. I could probably... Finau's ADP is 15. He's probably not... He's. Probably not going to come back around to me. I have two picks here at the turn. I think I'm going to go Finau. Love the, love the short game and the distance advantage that we get with Finau. So I'm going Tony. God, I, don't, I just don't know if I trust JT. I think JT can make some big numbers. Big, big, big numbies. Um, I could get Connors right now, but his ADP is so deep, I could wait on him too, you know? Um, I like byung Hun Ann. I mean, Fitzpatrick... You know, Fitzpatrick flashed a little bit. He flashed a little bit at at, uh, at Memorial. I'll take Fitzy. I'm going to take Fitzy. All right, a lot of these guys are about to jump off the board for me. So I got to start off with Brooks, Finau, and Fitzpatrick. Like I said, all AM guys right now. Everybody in the Discord is going nuts that I didn't take Scotty with the first overall. And whoever Sarah is. I don't know, Sarah, but they, whoever they are, they're highly, they got a highly experienced badge badge that's good but see you know they got decky which i i like decky decky's a pm guy so again and then, and then they just went justin thomas i'm not gonna assume that's a girl maybe it's a guy who's honoring his wife i don't know um my boy dt takes cam smith i don't hate it i i, I don't hate it. i don't love it but i don't hate it the next best adp right now on my list would be russell henley shane lowry been on yeah, see, there's plenty of guys down here I'm I'm digging. There's plenty of guys down here I'm digging. There goes Henley. I kind of would like to see Sahith make Sahith and Burns make it back to me. Or been on. Oh, there goes Sahith. This is gonna happen, isn't it? Home is out. Hatton's out. 
I think Ben on could be really nice here. He's got plenty of distance, hits it high, should be able to hold some greens, and his, his short his short game around the green is very underrated. Oh, come on. Don't do it to me, DT. Can't lay goes off. Don't do it to me, DT. Don't take Ben on. Don't take Ben on. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. He takes Seabass. Oh, sorry. Piece of I hate for Seabass. Don't do it, Sarah. Give me Ben on and Burns. Give them to me. Give them to me. Give them to me. What are you going to do, Sarah? What are you going to do? So I'm going to take Ben on and Burns here if, if, if this works out, and then I'm going to take kind of a flyer, potent, potentially. We'll see what's left um, with my last pick. Remember, only six picks. All right. Yes. Okay. So, um, yeah, I think for me it's been on because I'm getting to I'm getting kind of into scrub territory down here. These are the remaining AM guys that I have. DJ, man, Willie Z, man, Dean, I like. Yep, we're going. Uh, we're going. Sammy B, Bermuda Burns. I like him chipping off the the Bermuda grass, the grainy Bermuda. He could be hot. He's he's played okay this year. Uh, and like I said, I like Ben uh, Ben Han on Ben Young. Byung, Hun, and mother, father. Kill me now. Okay. Um, so, so far, everybody in the AM wave, we're going to see what's left. I mean, I like Straka a lot. He's probably not going to make it back to me for the six pick. He would be one that I might reach on. I, I would take with the six and final pick. I, I would take him if he's available. I doubt he's going to be available because I'll be the last pick of the draft. That would be six spots worse than his ADP. I doubt that's going to happen. Um, but I would take him if he was available, even though he's PM. So I'm probably going to be left with some decisions here. Do I take, um, you know, guys falling to that 36 spot look like Dean Burmester, Willie Z, DJ, Seamus is going undrafted, Eckroat, Moronk undrafted. I um, I mean, I think DJ, DJ scares me. Like, I don't know. I, I don't. I, I had him. I had him all over the place at the. There goes Straka, right? The DT just takes Straka. Yeah, I had him all over the place at Valhalla. He totally screwed me. I'm just not convinced. Willie Z short game scares me a little bit here. Dean Burmester's short game is better than most project or most people understand. Siwoo's got a great short game. I might go. Be, I might go. Um, I might go Dean or I might go Sheamus here. Is Siwoo going to make it to me? Like that'd be that'd be tempting. Siwoo's definitely a scorer. He can get up and down from anywhere. Hits a lot of fairways. It's either going to be Siwoo, Dean, or Sheamus. I doubt those three. Yeah, I, so one of them are going to be left to me. I doubt that's going to happen. That's what it's going to be. Can't wait. Come on. Come on. We're going all AM, baby. All AM. That's what I'm doing. And th like I said, there are going to be guys in the PM wave that will do fine. I just think that's a little bit harder to peg. And I don't know. Yeah. Billy Horschel, not a bad play there. Dylan, I like Billy Ho. I don't see him scoring a ton, but he, he you know, it's going to be hard to separate yourself with Pinehurst. Hard to make a lot of birdies, that's for sure. DT's last pick. DT and Dylan, uh, oh, he takes Burmester from me. I guarantee he did that on purpose. So now do I take Siwoo or Seamus? You got to take Siwoo. Don't do it, Sarah. But I don't mind Seamus. I really do. I, I'm, I'm bullish on Seamus' power. Here we go. What's going to happen? Can you imagine? People are going to be like, you took Seamus Power over Dustin Johnson and Will Saltors. That's kind of what you have to do. I'm not I'm not trying to play for 11th place here. I'm trying to win this thing. I want the 1000 bucks. So that's kind of what you have to do. Sarah takes Aaron Rye. Siwoo is an easy pick for me. And we are... We're done. There we go. And that's how you do it. That's how you do the underdog best ball draft. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, click the link in the description um, and support us. Support underdog, support the tour junkies. If you like the t-shirt, t-shirt, golf is easy, which is not going to be at Pinehurst. Swannies, baby. Swannies.co, link in the description. TJ25 gets you 25% off your entire order at Swannies. Thank you to them as well. See y'all in the Discord for the Wednesday night live chat. Can't wait. We'll probably do more underdog best ball drafts this week. That's It's so much fun. Thanks. Have a great week. See ya!